Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a bit of a different one for me. I've not done one of these videos before and I don't know if I'm even going to end up using this footage because I don't want to sound like I'm bragging. But I just wanted to share with you guys what I got for Christmas. I might not even show it all. It's just I got some pretty cool stuff and some stuff that I really like. And I like the idea of sharing with you guys what I got. Um, I apologise if I cough or if I sound, if I get stotty in this video, I'm still ill. But I don't really know where to start. I've got a bag full of stuff and then some little random stuff. So let's start with the stuff that's in this one. I said I haven't got loads. It might seem like loads, but I haven't got loads. And I'm not doing this video to brag. I just like the idea of sharing stuff because some of the stuff I got was quite unusual. So I'll start off with the stuff that my boss got me. Um, I will have to keep going in and out of the screen to get things. So my boss got me some craft sets because he knows that I like craft and he asked me what I wanted. And I said, like, I didn't, everyone, like, he kept saying, what do you want, what do you want? I was like, I don't really want anything. And then I said, well, I do craft in that, so something crafty related would be quite cool. So he got me some paint your own mandala stones. So this is just a little kit that provides paint and some rib and some stones and it gives you like a booklet on like different designs that you could do, which is pretty cool. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> then you got some glass stone art again, kit that provides you with some stones and that, just like the glasses, so you can decorate and make like paperweights and that. And there's one in there that I've seen. I think I'm gonna make my sister because it's just really cool. Um, and I want to try and make one of my cat maybe for being to use at work. I'm so bummed up. It's horrible. And then ways with embroidery hoop, embroidery, embroidery hoops, and this one just comes with a hoop. And then just it gives you you've got like this kit comes with one like oops, it hoop an example, but then it's got a booklet of all the other ways for how to like use these hoops, which is quite cool because I used one the other recently for my cross stitch, and it's the first time I've ever used one of these. And the possibilities actually you could use a lot, and I would love to learn different sewing techniques as well. So I think that's quite cool. Um, I'm so bummed up with this ridiculous. Oh, excuse me. Um. And now most of the stuff is from my parents. If I get to something that's from my sister, I'll let you know. So every year, me and my sister get pajamas, and for the past three, I think three years, yeah, for about past three years, the pajamas have become fluffy, which are the best things ever. Fluffy pajamas are the best. Seriously, I love them. And my ones, my sister got Harry Potter. I actually got to pick these. And my ones are fringe. So Central Perk. And then on the jumper, I just love it because you've got the yellow taxi, you've got the couch, you've got the duck, you've got how are you doing, and then you've got central perk. And I just love them, and they're so soft. And when you're ill, oh, these are the best things. When you just want to chill out, they're the best things. Like, it does, like you don't even get hot on them, like, they're not thick. But then, like, I took some to Lapland with me, and oh, I was so warm in them. But then when I wear them at home, I don't get hot. Like, fluffy pajamas are the best thing ever, and honestly, I thought they're the best crisp. Was present. Like I said, I, these are one of the things I always look forward to. I always know I'm going to get some pajamas for Christmas, and lately they've been fluffy ones. <laughs> Sorry. And I've now talked for too long about fluffy pajamas, but they're the best Christmas present ever. Seriously, just buy me pajamas for Christmas. Um. Oh, I'm going to leave my box for later because I've got something cool in there. Um, that I'll do in a minute. This, maybe I will do in my box. No, yeah, yeah, we're going to do my next. So one of my presents was this. It is just a plain, simple tool box, tool kit. It, has, did, did, it hasn't it has got anything in it, it was just an empty one because that's one of the things I, I think that is the, really the main thing I asked my parents for, was I wanted some new screwdrivers because my screwdrivers are broken. And yeah, so I'm one. Of, I'm very DIY, I'm very do it yourself. I have like loads of tools upstairs, I have screwdrivers and everything. Oh, and I asked for a handsaw, which I didn't get. But I have got my birthday tomorrow, so technically I could get it tomorrow, who knows. But I got this box, which is huge, which is quite good, because I can also keep some of my like crafty tools in here as well. It doesn't have to just be like my tool kit, but it's really good because it's got like a lift thing. Um, I have put stuff in here to save it, but they did get me a 26 piece 4.8 volt cordless screwdriver set which I'm happy about we've got all the different heads and we've also got some drill bits as well and I'm so excited to finally get to use this like this is amazing I do I like using it manually but I got to borrow one of my my friend and me built my sister's wardrobe and I got to use his um 
cordless screwdriver and oh my god it felt so much it felt like so powerful in a way and i've got other loads of stuff that i want to do with woodwork in the summer like in 2019 and i thought that'd be perfect for me so i got that she also got me a level to go with it because i don't have a level i have a tape measure i have a hammer and everything but she got me a level that's one thing as well all my stuff that i have already is like miniature like my hammer is literally like this big so i asked for like normal human size items instead but she got me a level and then this is just some random stuff she got me a foot pack which is like it's like a face mask for your feet some unicorn socks because you can never go wrong with socks can you um some books she got me the shakespeare story so these are just like all the shakespeare books but they're obviously like been rewritten for kids but I'm excited to read these because a few of them I've not read and it'll be cool to read like this version before I read the thick versions, if that makes sense. <coughs> Sorry. But I'm excited and this is quite handy because my mission for 2019 is to read two books a week. Because this year, 2018, I read 52, I didn't even meet do on purpose really. I originally started off with just like, no, it's like, hang on, I'm reading loads of books this year. And then I was like, right, I want to finish 52 books by the end of 2018. When I was in Lapland, or like the day after Lapland, I finished it, I read my 52nd book. And I've completed it, and I was like, right, I need a challenge now for 2019. And I was like, why not I try and do two books a week instead? So I need to try and read 104 books in 2019, which means I need to have books to read. And in fact, those, there was like quite a few books in there. I know they're thin, but it counts, it's still a book. So I'm excited for that. Um, now let's do the bag. Oh. It looks low, but it isn't, and I'm probably going to make this video really long because I'm just talking about things, but I'm explaining things in a way. So they also got me this book, which I've wanted for ages. It's called Pirate, The Adventures of Anne Bonny, Pirate Spirit, and it's basically based on the true story of the pirate, um, Anne Bonny, like, yeah. Well, it says here, inspired by actual historical accounts, this is a tale of Anne Bonny, but unlike the pirate who described herself as a man and fought it but side by side with him notorious band of rogues plundering ships around the Spanish main. This has been on my wish list for so long on Amazon, but it's expensive. Like, it's not expensive, it's about 13 quid, which to me is expensive, but I haven't been able to buy it. But I think I've wanted this book since I went to Jamaica and I became obsessed with pirates again. Like, I go through phases, it's either cowboys, vampires, or pirates. And when I was in Jamaica, I became obsessed with pirates. And it's been on my list since then, and I finally got it. And I'm really excited. The only issue is small print. The print is so tiny, it's going to be hard to read. And I'm one of those people that have to read a, like a chapter on a chapter, but the writing is small, so it might hurt me a little bit. Um, I got another book, no, I think that was the last of the books, which I'm really excited about. It's, the, it's um, Tolkien's The Adventures of Tom Bom Bombadil. Bombadil, I can never know how to pronounce his name, I'm, I'm tired, okay? This is such a cute little book. Again, a small print, but the illustrations. And I've wanted this for ages as well because I don't know if many of you know about like The Hobbit and that, but if you read the Hobbit books, this character is like a big deal in the books. Like he really helps. Is it The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings? I can't even remember now. My mind's gone dead. Which what character is in? No, I think it's Lord of the Rings that he helps. Yeah. It, it, yeah. <sighs> Sorry. My knowledge is getting mixed up. I'm so like high on that, like medicine at the moment. But anyway, he is such a big deal in the books. Like, he helps the characters loads, and like, there's so much more like a development. And I was so annoyed when I watched the films, because I read the books before I watched the films. When I watched the films, I was so annoyed that he wasn't there. Like, he's such a big deal in the book, but they completely went, no, you're not going on it. So, that really bothers me. But I'm so, so excited to read this book. I think it's got like rhymes as well in it, and I'm really excited. This has been on my list for since I became like a Tolkien fan, so it's just been here for a while, and yeah, this one was quite expensive as well. I can't, like, this is the thing, the books I've wanted in that were quite expensive, which is why I've never brought them, but my mum was nice and got for me, so that one, I can't wait. And it's the same size, I'm talking, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm rambling, but my Hobbit book is this size as well, so it looked really cute, because they're the same size as... I like this. I like all my books being like the same, similar size on the bookcase. I might have up. I'm showing up. I promise. Um, we got two DVDs. Um, Black Panther. Nothing really sad about it. And Vampire Diaries season seven. So I've only got yet season eight, and then I've got the full set. Vampire 
this. Hi, miss you. I still can't believe it's been that long now since it's finished. I'm just rewatching True Blood, and then I'll probably not rewatch and Vampire Diaries because they miss out at all. My lover. Oh, I'm dying. I should have done this video. I'm so bunged up in the gross. Um, then we just got some little like random pieces. We got charcoal face mask, which I like. I like charcoal. If you haven't like, yeah, charcoal face wipes, which be handy for holidays. Um, we got some air fresheners, which are unicorn, like of course, which is quite good. I can put them in my car. But my car always smells weird. It's really weird. My car always smells like McDonald's, which is really weird because I don't go to McDonald's that often, but it always smells like McDonald's. Just random little fact for you. Um, what else we got in here? I'm trying to do random stuff first. A candle, a Yankee candle, which I can't. It's called Coast Coastal Living. I can't smell anything. I was able to smell it yesterday, but today I'm that bunged up, I can't smell it at all. Um, another candle, which I've already got this one, but I've got a blue one. I think those are unicorn cupcakes or something. This one's unicorn gumdrops, and this one I can smell. It's very sweetie like, but I have this by the side of my bed. And the cool thing is, because I really like the lids, because it's glittery and it's cute, and my lid, lid that I have at the moment is blue, and I use it as a coaster. Like, that's quite a pretty cool coaster. But I like candles. At the moment I can't smell them, but I do like candles. We're getting there, don't worry people. I'm sorry I'm dragging. We're nearly done all my mum's stuff and then we can do my sister's stuff. Um, my mum got me a necklace, a unicorn necklace, which just says, Life is magical, make a wish and put it on your necklace with an open mind and positive spirit. Life is truly magical. Wear your necklace, necklace as a reminder to believe in the extraordinary. And it's just a unicorn necklace. I love unicorns. Unicorns are life. She got me some earrings, but one thing is, look at this cute little box, ready? Boop! Boop! I love the box, and they're really pretty, they're like a green cup, they are green, but they remind me of a gem, but I can't remember what sort of gem, can you see? They're really pretty. I haven't worn earrings in so long, I've got the top holes in, but I haven't done bottom ones because I'm getting lazy. But jewellery in general, I can't remember the last time I put proper jewellery on. Jewellery. Jewel, jewel, Am I saying it properly or is it just how it sounds in my head? I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting lazy. I used to wear different necklaces, different earrings every day to work. I used to do my makeup and everything, and now I'm just hair up. That's it. <laughs> I'm done. Like today, I probably look like I'm dead because I've not done anything. My hair is still like in the weird dead mermaid stage because I haven't dyed it yet. And ugh, I'm falling apart, people. I'm falling apart. Um, Okay, I think there's only two more items in here from my mum. Oh, she got me some chocolate, which I forgot I had. I started eating them straight away, very much left there. She got me this, which is funny because I don't even think I said I liked it too. I think it must have been with my sister that I said. It's a bird frame feeder. Bird frame feeder? A bird feeder that's in this like, shape of a frame. So here's the back, you have a little bowl of food and you just hang it up and then when the birds sit on it, it looks like they're in a photo frame, which I think is really cute. But at the moment in my garden, I haven't got anywhere to hang it. So I'm gonna have to save this. And then in the summer, I will build myself a bird like table or something so I can hook it on or some sort of hook mechanism so I can hang it up in the garden. But I think that's really cute, but I'll sort that out in the summer. Um, I think this is it from my mum. Oh, no, one thing's on the floor because I've been doing it this morning. This my mum got me, which I was so shocked about. <coughs> Sorry. We were in a shop and I was like pointing out all this stuff. I was like, oh my god, look at this. I would love to buy it. So I was like, it's too, I can't afford this right now, but maybe in the future I'd get it. Because they do these little sets. She left a price on <laughs> But they do little like sets of like the wand and the hat and everything. And I thought this one was really cute. And I'll get it out quickly. It is the golden snitch. So there's like a little stand and you like set the wings up. And it looks really pretty. You'll see it in the background of my videos when I'm upstairs because that's my Harry Potter display as my background for videos. But it's adorable, it looks amazing in the shop and I was like, oh my god, I would love it. And she was like, well, you never know. And I was like, yeah, I do know you're not going to get it for me because you've already done our Christmas present and you can't get us anything else now. You've gone you've gone up to the price of what you're going to spend on us. And so at one point, she went back and got it for me, which I love, but now I feel sorry for my sister because she's jealous. So when I next go to Woodbridge, well, when I next go to a shop that sells these, if I'm feeling nice, I might get my sister one as well because me and my sister, well my sister's probably actually more of a Harry Potter geek than me, in a way, because she remembers the stuff. I don't rem I can't ever remember things. I remember dates, that's it. I don't remember anything else about anything. I just remember dates. I, my memory is terrible. 
but yeah oh and then the last thing for my mum is you're not going to be able to like see it properly it's like because I'm doing it so I'll have to show it like this so this is what I've done so far I don't want to tip it too much because all the sequins are in bottom but what you do is you pin the sequins on the skull to make a skull like, there's cat hair on it to make well make a skull basically like a skull candy kind of sequined art and I started doing it this morning which is why I can't tip it to show you guys properly but I'll put on Instagram probably a picture of it when it's finished so if you follow me on Instagram you'll see it okay my sister I'm sorry I've been talking to her way too long what did my sister get me my sister got me some cool stuff so first of all my sister got me this for my garden this was just a random thing she said it's a Chinese bell it's meant to bring you luck it's got a little fishy on the bottom and it just hangs up and growls. My my mum's got one and hers has a fish around the edge and my sister has a fish around the edge. But my one, I don't know if you guys can see it, so I don't even know if the camera's focusing. But along the edge of my one is a dragon because I love dragons. I love all mythical creatures really. But that's really cute. And maybe, you never know, I might finally get some luck. I don't know if I want to put it in the garden now. I wonder if it has to be in the garden for the luck to work or if I can have it in the house. I'm getting really bummed up, aren't I? I can hear it getting worse and worse as I talk. We're nearly done, I promise you. She also got me this little butterfly brooch, which looks really cute. I'm, I keep trying to work out. I was looking at it for ages when I opened it. I want to think. I want to think. I want to say it's an antique one that she got from an antique shop that was nearby to us because it doesn't really look modern. If that makes sense, like. I don't know what's on, like if it's just normal white on the back, like or if it's a stone or something. But to me, this doesn't look modern. So I feel like, well, like maybe not, like you know, not like this year kind of thing. It looks kind of antiquey for me. To me, I don't know if I'm imagining it, but it does, and I really like that. It's really pretty, and it's like 3D, so it's quite cool. Um, she also got me this, which I think is amazing. This really made me laugh because she asked me if I liked stamps and everything. I was like, what do you mean? I don't really collect stamps. I have a couple, but that's it. But she got me this little ornament and it's an actual Winnie the Pooh 11 piece stamp. And it's from the, it says the year of child. And I think Becky, Becky said it had like some sort of significance to it. And she's pretty sure it came out the year I was born, which is why she um, got it for me or something. But it's Winnie the Pooh and I absolutely love it. I don't know where I'm going to put it though. Ah. That's one thing as well, it keeps on doing. But I have no idea where I'm going to put this, but it's so adorable. I want it in with my other Winnie the Pooh stuff, but at the same time I want it in my bedroom so I can look at it. But again, it's an antique, so I want it downstairs. I'm so torn to where I want to hang it. But it's really cute. It probably won't end up going upstairs in the spare room with all the other Winnie the Pooh stuff. But I just think it's really cute and it's very unusual, it's unique. It's something that... I would have never imagined I would have got for Christmas. And then the last item from my sister is some butterflies. I collect butterflies. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I collect butterflies. I've mentioned this before, I think, in a video. I don't, I prefer antique ones and uh, I'm not one of those people like, oh yeah, go kill a butterfly kind of thing. But I do love butterflies. I have a few in my bedroom now. And she got me this one, I'll show you this one first. She got me the striped blue crow. She got these ones because they're, um, you can actually see the blue on the wings a little bit in different lighting. She got me the, both of them because they like have bird names. But I feel like, I'm pretty sure she said the main reason she got me this one was because it's called a crow. And I have a thing about crows because of Vampire Diaries and other reasons. But isn't that beautiful? Please say the camera's focusing. And then this one is a common Jay, which actually made me, made me laugh because I have a friend called Jay and I, f I was going to send him a picture about it, but I forgot, but I was going like, to say like, look, I got a butterfly and it's named after you and as a joke kind of thing, like, you know, it, it was like, now I can always think of him, you know, just messing, yeah, I don't know what's going on in my head. But this one's really pretty as well, I really like the colours in this one, but there you go, isn't that pretty? I know people, some people don't agree with it, I don't agree with like modernised ta taxidermy in it, but... I do love them, I think they're really beautiful. I just need to get more now, I want like as many as I can, I want a whole wall of them just to creep people out. I really keep creep people out, and then when you go into my bedroom you just see the dead stuff, I was like, yeah, they're just butterflies, they're dead, you know. Yeah. Anyway, the last things I want to show you is something I weren't going to show you, then I was going to show you, then I wasn't going to show you, then I was going to show you, but then actually I've then showed you all my presents, so, oh well. Um, my friend got me some stuff. 
Um, he got me some sweets, which I don't know where I put. I haven't eaten them yet. And he got me a little like car charger, but he also got me some clothing, which I want to show you. And I was so impressed because he actually got my right size. I've never told him what clothing size I am, but he got the right size, so I'm impressed with him with that. Um, he got me these pajamas, which are just zebra shorts and then a zebra t-shirt that just said I want to be a unicorn and then it's got a zebra dressed as a unicorn these are so comfortable I've been wearing them at the moment and they're so so soft and I love them so much but he got me those I opened these before Christmas so we swapped presents the other like a couple of days ago but he got me those and he also got me this jumper which I'm in love with I haven't worn it yet because I'm saving it but it's so 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 soft and it's quite a long one but it's really soft and it just says given to me and yeah there you go can you see can you see can you see it's you, like you said you can see how long it is it's that long but it's really soft and i am saving it i don't want to wear it like straight away but i think that's probably going to be my new favorite jumper it made me laugh though when i saw it because first of all it says given to me and i'm pretty sure i say that a lot you need to give in to me i'm pretty sure i do i think that's why he got it for whatever reasons he got it for me oh sorry and then also, I, in like the beginning of a year when we had loads and loads of snow, he lent me his jumper. And I still have it. I like literally stole on his jumper. Um, he did say I could keep it after a while because I won't like, return because it's so warm and soft. But I think that's one of the reasons he got me a jumper was because now I won't keep asking him for more of his clothing. Because, yeah, I'm one of those people that are like, oh, can I borrow that? And I'm like, nah, I'm not giving it back. It's too nice to give back. I like it. Okay, I'm really bummed up now. I've probably taught loads. And I've bored you guys to death. I really sound gross as well. I need to buy my nose. <laughs> Sorry. I'm ill, okay? I can't help it. Um, that is literally everything I want to say. I said I didn't want to like show you guys the stuff to brag about. I just wanted to show you that I got some really cool stuff. Like I got my toolkit, which I guess for my like like age and the fact that I'm a female, I know this is going to be like big sexes, but it's a bit of a weird thing to get for Christmas. It's more like a 23 year old female to want a toolkit for Christmas but that's what I wanted and like my sister got me some really unusual stuff and I just got some unusual stuff this year and I got some cool stuff and I was truly spoiled and looked after but there you go that's everything I got I'm sorry that this video took long like I said I don't even know if I'm use this video I had to re-watch it all and see what it's like and see how bunged up I sound and how gross I sound and go from there I know I talk loads if I do put this video up I know I talk loads about certain things especially the fluffy pajamas but I can't help it fluffy pajamas the best pajamas ever anyway I truly am gonna shop now thank you for watching I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and I will see you all in the next video goodbye